Oh, I need to make my hair bigger. Oh, there we go. Mm -mm. This is why I don't go on vacation. I need a vacation from the vacation. Who is that by my window? Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to talk about a day in the life of a figure skating coach. And yes, it is as glamorous as you think it is. So in the morning when I get up, I literally grab my egg white omelet, my oatmeal, my BCAAs, and I'm ready to go. Of course, I already set up my water, so I can chug that while I'm getting ready to make sure that I am fully hydrated. So this is the life of a coach. It's Saturday morning at 5.30. I'm getting cardio in before I yell at small children. It's very glamorous. It's very important to make this damn driver happy. So on my way to the rink, I got a text. Hey, can you pick up a coffee for me? Yes. Yes, I can. You picked it? You did any mini mini mo and picked which one you wanted? Yes. Okay, which one is it? The oh, excellent. Yeah, bring those toes together. Good, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Now bend your knees before you start. Bend and then bring your toes. Oh, that was a good one. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. First lesson of the day, we're all a little foggy. Alex! She beats me, help. Good morning, Miss Nina. Good morning, good morning. We all have fun here. That's I right. I was wondering when he became so good. I'm going to my next victim, Rachel. <laughs> she pretends like she's awake, but she's really not. <laughs> now I've got Kai Kai the Samurai. Um, Audrey. It's a good day because I have Foo Foo Francis. <laughs> All right, so I've got Kennedy. She's going to be amazing this morning. <laughs> I'm not awake this morning. I'm not even gonna pretend. Come here. So this is what we were working on and I'll show you the exercise that we did too. We talked about why the right arm has to be down for the double axle. I liked that she was thinking about her right arm and her goals obviously need work, but I wanted to see like why her arm and we talked about increasing the rotation. So anyway, so you're here. Good. Up you go. Go. Pull. Good. Show, me, show Debbie what you were doing before. Like how you were, no, how you were like. She was pushing the, sh like getting the arm down, but pushing the shoulder down. So we are fixing it. Uh. All right, time for heat and heated seats. A hot shower, cause I can't feel my toes. What? Yeah, I'm still in here. Okay, so why are my jammies back on? Because it's night night time. It's nap time, baby. Growing up skating, I had my alarm set for 440 every morning since I was six. And it doesn't seem to get any better as you get older. So it is a lot of early mornings and dark mornings and a lot of cold. So usually for me, it is get up, get out the door, cardio, coffee, coach, eat some food. Then after coaching, I need to skate a little bit if I'm trying to have a goal that I'm trying to meet. And then it's home for shower, lunch, maybe a nap. And then go about the second part of my day with more coffee and more food. So I know 
this might sound a little crazy, but what I do is I go through my weekly calendar and actually figure out not just what I'm doing each day, but when my actual free time is. And that way I can see what days are really packed that I need to really be prepared for and what days I can assign chores. So what I do is I actually will break up all of the chores that need to be done for the week into segments per day. So I'm spending maybe 15, 20 minutes per day doing those chores. I don't wanna waste big blocks of time doing those things. I need my brain power for other things. So during the day, I usually have admin work that I need to get done. I do a lot of PSA volunteer work. I have conference calls and Zoom calls that I do during the day. Um, a lot of times I will have to forego napping for appointments and other calls just to get things done during the day and make sure that I don't nap too much. I think one thing that people don't realize is that coaching isn't just on the ice. You have to have a plan for the skater. You're editing music, you're answering emails, you're planning competitions for them and setting up the year. And also it's very important that you are keeping up with your athletes as far as what's happening off ice. Like this week happens to be the last week of school. All the skaters are coming in excited but tired. And that way I kind of can steer my lessons dependent on where their brain is. It, last week was difficult because they had a lot of exams. And so I knew I had to be extra de delicate with them because they were all coming in very tired from studying the night before. So you kind of have to know where your athlete is. And I think that is challenging for us. What we have to keep in mind is where the athlete is mentally so that we can get the most amount of work done. And once you get through that, then you can work through the physical. I think one of the most challenging parts of being a coach is not only trying to make sure that you're a good technician, but making sure that your brain is turned on every time you start a new lesson, thinking of, okay, what does this student have to accomplish? And, and it can be challenging, but actually that's the fun part because it really makes the job more interesting. because this kid is making me do an axle. At my rink, I am very lucky to have the staff that I have. Anywhere from the rink owner, manager, all of the managers, the staff, they're amazing. So we all get along and are like family and we joke around quite a bit. And also when I might be coming in and in a not great mood, I've had a rough day, the coaching culture that we have there is phenomenal. We are the kick ice coach team, I call us. And you may come in and have a rough day, but by the time you leave, you've got a smile on your face. Everyone says hello. We joke around with each other. And Saturday mornings, my staff brings me coffee. So nice. It is such a privilege and an honor to work with all of these ladies on my staff. And they're an amazing coaching team, and I'm very, very lucky. All right, 
So just did the gym and now I'm headed home to get on a Zoom conference call and get ready for the morning. All right, so I just got done with my conference call. So of course I'm back in the kitchen because it is time to have my last meal, which is a protein shake. While I do that, I clean up, set up, and shower up. And that way I am all set up in the morning. I don't even have to open my eyes till I get in the car. Everything's already ready to go. I just grab it and run. I hope at the very least you have found this video entertaining. I am always up for helping coaches organize themselves, get through their education, and anything else that coaches need. So hit me up. Don't be afraid to contact me at any time, and I love to help other coaches. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if there's any specific content that you would like to know about coaching, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you so much, guys, and have an ice day.